This is question number 18 of the 2013 KCPE maths exam and it says um, Jibet left town P at 7am and travelled to town R a distance of 320 kilometres via town Q. She took two hours to travel from town P to town Q at an average speed of 85 kilometres per hour. After a 45 minute rest she continued with the journey at an average speed of 75 kilometers per hour. At what time did she arrive at town R? Whenever you see these kind of questions, it's always quite um, helpful to represent them as um, a timeline. So I'll draw, oops, that's not a good look. Um, let's make a bit, the pen a bit thinner. Um, let's draw a line here. And we have uh, a few points to label on the line. P, which is her starting point, and she started there at 7 a.m. Her final destination is town R, which we'll put here at the end of the line, and we have now that she travelled via Q, which we'll put here in the middle. Okay, so it says the distance from town P to town R is 320 kilometres, so we can mark that on here. 320 kilometres. It says that she took two hours to travel from P to Q, so that means that um, she arrived at Q at 9am uh, at an average speed of 85 kilometres per hour. So from here to here, her average speed was 85 kilometres per hour. And we know, since we know the speed and we know the time it took, we can find out the distance here, the distance P, Q, or the distance from P to Q. So uh, we know that distance is equal to speed times time. So that means that the distance from the distance P Q is equal to eighty five times by two. That gives us one hundred and seventy kilometers. The distance from P to Q is one hundred and seventy. Let's mark that here onto our timeline. So we know that we can now work out the distance QR by doing by doing three hundred and twenty subtract uh seven one what sorry three hundred and twenty subtract uh one hundred and seventy and we end up with one hundred and fifty kilometers as the distance from uh from Q to R. So we can now start to work out um what time she arrived at R. But first we need to factor in that she waited. Uh, 45 minutes um, at Q before traveling to R so we know she set off um, on her journey from Q to R at 9 45 a.m. so and we know that the average speed here that she took um, it well, she took from traveling from um, Q to R was 75 uh, kilometers per hour and what we're after here is um, the time so since we know that since we know here that um distance is equal to speed times time, we can rearrange this um to find time. So we have time is equal to uh if we divide both um this side and this side by uh speed, time is equal to distance divided by speed. So we have our distance here, which is one hundred and fifty. We just put these numbers in, and we have um the speed that she used which was what's that again uh, 75 so we can find the time and 150 divided by 75 is 2 so it took her two hours to travel from Q to R so we add two hours to uh, 945 we get 1145 so she arrived at R at 1145 a.m. the answer is a 1145